Hello guys, welcome back to Jutronics. If you're new to the channel, welcome. In this short video, we're going to answer this question. Write a program that will output the following pattern. So our solution will be like this and 14 marks imagine. So this question is for A levels, but for all levels, just watch the video up until we start using RS. So the question was sent in our WhatsApp group. Just join the group is for free and uh, we discuss questions in the group. So let's get started guys okay so before we get started guys i just want to thank everyone who have subscribed to the channel and soon we're going to be posting videos on how you can make mobile applications and desktop applications so please if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing to the channel so let's get started now okay so let's start a new project console application and then this program i just call it a letter uh pattern okay okay so the first thing that we need to do is to make an array that is going to hold our letters so I'll just say dim uh, I wanted to call the array array but let's give it a meaningful name so I'll just say letters and uh, a string is equal to then we initialize our array so we first have the first letter a second letter is B uh, C D E F and our last letter is G okay so now we have an array which consists of our letters so now we need a for loop which is uh, for the row so I'll just call this row it is set from 1 so for the row is equals to one two seven i'll show you in a moment why one two seven then um console dot writes so the first thing that i want to do here um i just want to show you what we are doing for now i'll just put this later so uh if i just run this program we see that okay so we also need console dot straight read key here okay so if I run this program, you see that we have columns instead of rows. But if you want rows, we need a console dot right line, right? So let's run this. Now we are having rows, but then we also need columns here. So we're gonna need a for loop for that. So just cut this control X for cutting. Then for core core is for column. This goes to one two. Um, I should also give this to 7 okay let's run this okay so now we have in columns and rows so one more thing that I want to do here so that you won't get confused um, I'll put a space here okay so just copy everything and come down here and paste everything okay so now I'll change the sign for this Okay, let me run this okay so now you can see we have in, we are having two patterns here the first one we with the else sign the second pattern with the hash sign so I wanted to show you this earlier before I go any further so that you get an understanding of what we are doing here so um, you all know that okay so just cut this uh, I'll just cut this I want to explain this uh, so i hope this video will be short but i want you to understand everything first so if i say control dot right line and i print the first let hash then if i also do the same console dot right line and i print another pattern another sign let's say the the plus sign now okay so if i run this you we know all know that the programs are executed one after the other so the first program which prints the hash finishes and then the second one uh, proceeds so that's the same with what we are doing here we are first uh, completing this for loop after that we go for the next one so now we want to make our pattern look like this right so how are we going to do that so the first thing um that we can identify from the question is that our um, 
Our columns are the one which are changing. Am I right? Uh, I'm, am I right? Yeah, I think I think so. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just gonna create variables. So we are having two for loops. Each for loop has its own row in the column. So I have to separate these uh, variables. So the first one I just say call one as integer, and then I'll initialize this to I'll give this to zero. Then the second one, dm call two as integer, and this one I initialize it to six. So it's the same as um, why am I giving this to six? Because I would want to use these variables uh, to to um, as as uh, as index of our array to point in our array. So that's why I have given this up to six and this one up to uh, from zero so our array index starts from zero and ends at six so if we go zero one two three four five six right so now for this column we want it to um, to be at score two right and if we run this it's actually uh, the same it's the same okay so now we want to decrement this these um these columns so what, what we can do now um after this for next after printing each column we want now to subtract the column so we can say call two subtracts one okay no we can say call two subtract equals to one so this is actually the same as call two is equals to call two minus one right so it's actually the same so i just want to keep it simple i'll say subtract equals to one okay so let's run this now if i know we are having this decrementing and that's the same way here we want to increment we want to subtract other things here so let's do that so this one will be up to core one and then now we want to increment that core one core one variable uh, plus equal to one which is also the same as core one is goes to core one plus one so we're just simplifying things let's run this okay so now we are having this shape right what's left for us is to put this i b c d going forward so to do that uh, it's actually simple let's close this first we already have our array which consists of our letters so what we are now just left to do is um I want to do something here our column should start as zero since we want to use the columns as uh, our index pointers and then I'll just say this one is um, should display the letters the letters and um, the index will be the column so I'll just copy this and replace it also here okay let's run this so we're having I and I and then there is a problem we are repeating this a b c d instead of just going to f so how can we solve that let's see how we can solve that so um the rows the rows the rows the rows mm, let's say we will start okay so i can i can change this one to five let's see how that goes Okay, so now we're ignoring the schist, the schist um, index, and then we are having the shape perfectly fine. So, if you are not familiar with these for loops and these patterns, I've I have a video which uh, a whole video of making patterns, different shapes, different everything. I'll just put the link in the down in the description. I'm sorry, my language today. I'm sorry so the link will be down in the description uh, so the video is for all levels but if any level and don't know these shapes please watch that video so that um, so that uh, this everything we have been doing here will be simple for you so this is it guys I hope the video was short and I hope you liked the video just join our whatsapp group because uh, this question actually was sent to my whatsapp group so the group is for free anyone can join and also if you like programming guys and you want to make games and mobile apps stick to this channel just click that subscribe button and we can go forward okay so thank you guys bye bye